this work is more than just the work of a single person. And every time we get the opportunity to have more people, it expands, and each of you can also expand the project. To me, this synergy of connecting with um, also people that care about the turtles is just like an equation that adds up to something more. You know, the sum is more than the parts. So. When I come to a beach, I really think about it like a crime scene, okay? Everything, every one of these pieces of plastic has been in somebody's hand at one point, and then it has traveled across the ocean and made the transition from being a useful object to something that's dangerous, poisonous, and unsightly. So when I, when I initially come to a beach, the first day I came here, I went and I photographed each of these locations because somehow the way that nature interacts with these objects, it puts them into a position that's telling a story. So I read the objects almost like a, a detective would, like a crime scene. So for, in, for instance, sometimes I find um, on, the, uh, on this beach two days ago, the first time I came, I found a baby's leg from a toy doll next to a plastic toy tank. So those two things are almost cancel each other out. War makes the destruction of the possibility of continuing life. But they're both toys. So culture is sort of creating this ability to continue war. At the same time that the ocean is now being force fed all this plastic, it's coming down the rivers, it's coming through every waterway down to the ocean, and the ocean is vomiting it back up. So this vomiting up is not random. I feel it's almost like the ocean's communicating a message to us. And with that idea, I try to read the message as I'm doing this. So. Sometimes it's interesting to see what's around each other, and other times it's just like we only have one hour now, so I, I'm hoping everybody can just pick up as many things as possible. There's some things that are kind of embedded in the dirt. Um, I don't know if we have a knife, but maybe maybe somebody has a pocket knife or something because we maybe can extract this one. Does anybody have a knife? Yeah, I tried the other day. It's partially so buried, but yeah. maybe anyway. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, um, not only are there big objects, but the tiny objects are almost worse. The microplastic, because that is what really everything's in the point of just you know the plastic is not going anywhere. It's just getting smaller and smaller. But when it gets really small, that's when it starts to enter the food chain. The jellyfish, everything starts eating it. So. The big and the small is all important. Just whatever you feel like you can handle in terms of uh, how much energy you have is great. We'll collect it all, and then we invite you just for um, a quick refreshment to come to the Ionian Center. Afterwards, if you want to see the project, which has already started from the plastic we collected the other day, and also to um, just see this place that is, is supporting the, the uh, connection with the Turtle Refuge Center. So, we have bags, and um, I did see so much stuff on that other side, so...